Hi, and welcome to today's tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be making a caftan with a lace neck. So, let's get to the cuttings. Just pay attention. It's a very simple sky and it's a very simple caftan. So, what I'll be doing here, this is the person's fabric. I'll be using the total length of this person is 55. But I'll be adding 2 inches allowance for the Emmy. So, from this point, I've mentioned 59. So, this is 59. I already had the hemming allowance to it at the head there. So, I will fold. Our hip is 38. So, a quarter of 38 is 9.5. You divide the hip by 4. The hip is the largest part of our body. So, I'll divide the hip by 4, which gives me... 9.5 so 9.5 i'm going to add two inches for the ease allowance now so i'm going to be folding 11.5 so here yeah, i have to fold 11.5 let's see okay 11.5 good so i have to confirm that is 11.5 all true yes i have 11.5 all true now that I have 11.5, so now let's insert our uh, other measurement. Excuse me. Uh, let's insert all other measurements. Our hip, we are starting from our shoulder. Our shoulder is 13. So 13 divided by 2, that gives us 4. So 4, uh, that gives us, sorry, 6.5. 6.5, then I will add half inch for the sewing so allowance so i'll be measuring seven so i have seven here i'll mark it out now from this seven here from this shoulder line i'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope then the neck width i'm going to use a neck width is 2.5 for normal neck width for the shoulder slope so i'll make a slant here like this you see i made a slant then I'll come down from this edge that the ham to take her arm measurement. A ham to so to get your ammo, just say boss divided by four minus one point five. A boss is thirty six divided by four, that's nine. And there's one point five, that's seven point five. But I'll not be using seven point five because this is a caftan, there won't be zip there, so I have to use eight inches so that to be is for her for, for her to be so I'll measure eight inches downward, then draw a straight line like this. So you get what I do. What I did here, 8 inches for the hand pull. Then I'll come to the middle of the um, ammo line. That's four. Half of the eight is four. I'll come here and I'll come in by half inch and get my cuff, the ammo cuff. So you see, I make this a slant line, then I'm going to make this a cuff. So I have to, it's either you use your fresh cuff or you can use your hand. So I'll go ahead from this point now. I'm going to take my boss measurement. I boss, don't forget the boss is 36 divided by 4, that's 9 inches, then plus 2 inches, that's 11 inches. So I have 11 here. Then I will come down by, I'll come to a half length. A half length here is 16. So from 16 here, I'll take a waist measurement. A waist is 32. 32 divided by 4, that's 8 plus 2 inches, that makes it 10. So I'm going to take 10 for our waist measurement here. Then i also come down to our hip length. The hip, our hip length is 23. If it's someone that is very tall, you can just take from waistline to hip length. Just it's 9 inches, but for somebody that is of average, I just use 8 inches. So what I'm having here is... It is not very tall like that she is. So I'm using 23 for her hip length. So from there, I'll take her hip measurement. Don't forget her hip measurement is 37, I uh, mean 38 divided by 4, 9.5 plus 2 inches. That's 11.5. So I'm taking 11.5 inches here. Yeah? So I have exactly 11.5 here. Yeah? And you remember that it's a straight gown. So I'm going to have the 11.5 all through down like this so 
yes i have 11.5 all true so i don't need to make any curve here so now I'll join this i'll connect this point together so i've connected them together like this okay then make it support so this is going to be a straight line and we come back to our neckline we are going to use three inches for our neck width and four inches for our neck depth is a unique so just from your letter just like your writing letter u like this but because i'm going to be using this fabric to cut at the back also so i have to take my back neckline too I remember i said there won't be zip there will only be button at the back then i'll take the back arm oh the back arm does not need to come in just make your normal cuff like this so i'll first be cutting out for the back before i cut for the front then i'll fold i'm so I, I can't use this mini fabric because it's not up to a measurement so i'll have to fold another fabric for the back okay so we keep we'll keep this aside then yeah i also have another fabric i've already cut out the length to 90 to 59 so that i won't waste our time cutting it i'm going to cut exact for the back also because there won't be any zipper allowance there so i don't need to put any zip allowance there then i just measure out what i have here do i have 11.5 okay do i have 11.5 now I'll place the front piece we we'll need to cut it out So, make sure that is well arranged. Okay. Maybe mm -hmm. so before cutting. Now I can cut out the back. Following the back. Okay, now we are done with the back. So this is going to be our back. And because it's going to have a button at the back, I'm going to open from here to five inches. From here to five inches. You can open four inches. Let's just open four inches because this person is on the small side. So I'll just open it here like this. I'm stopping here. I'm supposed to shop it. I'm sorry, I can't find the shop right now. So this is actually where my four inches end. So the back is done. Then for the front, I'm going to cut out the neckline for the front now. Then I'll cut out the ham hook too. Okay, so I'll take this, I'll keep this aside now. I'm not needing it. Now let's cut the sleeve. We're going to cut the sleeve. Ah. Uh, okay, around sleeve is 13. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to fold. I'm cutting the two together. Around sleeve is 13. So 13 divided by 2, that's 7.5. Well, I had 1.5 for the same, and as I have to put 9 inches. I have to put something up to 9 inches. Let's see what I'm having here. So I'm having 10 inches, so this folding is okay. So from here, our sleeve length is going to be is 17 plus the shoulder. I'll take away is then. 17 
here is 17 i'm going to add two inches for the emmy allowance i'm using 19 so from here like this sorry i'm going to make my arm off from here if you're not very good with the ammo so i've taken my cup then i'll come down here you know i use 10 inches i'm going to minus 1.5 at the hem here then i'll slant it to get the ammo so i'll cut out the sleeve the sleeve is a short sleeve Now, don't forget that for the front, we have, we cut out half inch. So, we are going to cut out the half inch also from this sleeve also. So, that's what I'm cutting out now. The half, the half inch we cut out from the front. We have to cut it out for the back also. So, let's notch the center for us to know the center. So, we are done with the sleeve. Now, I'm going to cut the pocket. I have, I have this folded into four, so just place my hand like this. I'll put that to shape. Okay, okay. I think I'm not quite going to put it to it. Good. So we have our four pockets ready. Now we are almost done with the cutting. Now we go on to the lace part you remember there is a lace at the end so this is the front part okay now i folded the lace fabric into two this is my lace i use it for other design also so i folded it into two like this yeah. So I want the the V line is going to get to the underboss. Our underboss is 13. So with the hem, so I'm going to stop at 14. I'm going to use 14. Now this 14. I'm going to place my just wash carefully. I'm going to place my fabric on it like this. You see? So after placing the fabric like this, then I cut out the lace. I'll cut out this just like facing. the place to start from here from half of the ham which is four then i'll make a slant to the under bust here can you see i make it let me just increase it so that to be wide enough so i cannot cut out this part like this So I cut it out. Now let's see what we have. So I'll open up the front bodies. And I'll open up the front bodies. And I'll place my lace fabric on it like this. You see, you see that it's looking pretty already. So after placing my lace fabric on it this way, then I will go ahead and attach my. Now I will place my 
trim is this way the first one like this in a cut of the essence then i'll place the second like this to be on top of the first one i also cut off the excess then i'll place it at the center this way and i'll place it i'll make sure that it goes down like this to make it easy for me to sew so that i'll be on straight line to not be moving up and down what i'll do is that i'll first use my hemming gum yeah let me show you i'll use my hemming gum i'll show you okay now i'm going to place my hemming gum like this i will lift this up then this is my hemming gum i will just place it here like this then i'll place my trim is on top my bias my regular trim is then you have to use um a glue to cover it because the iron is picking this trim is you have to get a better glue to do yours then you have to be very careful to person it has already shifted so i have to adjust it we adjust it back to its position uh -huh. Make sure that everything is well lit. So, starting from here. So this part is done then i'll do for the second part soon get my hemming go and place here this is great this part is going to overlap this all right together like this so then i place my look on it just to prevent the iron from destroying the velvet so this is also done now we have to come to the center i have to come to the center like this Make sure that at the center they prepare to cover it up at the center here. Yeah. So we place then you place your having plate. Make sure that it's at the center. You know when I folded the cloth when I'm about to cut. So the line is that line that I'm actually following. So ensure that your trimming is at the center of your dress. Mm -hmm.
this really helps to keep your um trimmings at one place but if it feel like you can sew it without it shaking you can still go ahead and do that but for me i have to hold it down to prevent it from moving away while i'm sewing So to enforce the trimming, you see, I have to iron it at the back also to make sure that the trimming stays. So this point, I have to make sure that. Okay, so we are done. Now I have to cut facing for the neck. Now we are done. Face them. I just use bias taping. So I'm going to use bias taping for the for the piping of the neck right now. Okay, for us to sew right now, I've brought the. I'm going to show you how to sew it down. First, sew down the trimmings to the fabric. So I'm going to start from this end, like this, and you sew along the tip like this. to sew it down so that it's not shaking
we are done sewing everything like this you can see so you can see iron it has so the next step is to go and bias tape the neck i'm going to use bias i will sew it round like this then after sewing it round then i will turn it in i will do the same for the back also come back to show us the results okay now i'm done piping the neck this is the neck this is the back side so and i've done the same thing for the back also here is the back neck so the next thing for me to do right now is to fix the pocket for me to fix the pocket i'm going to just measure from this ammo part i'm going to measure eight inches eight inches from here I'll measure 8 inches. That's my tip. Don't tell my tip. So I'm going to go to the stem. So from here, I'll measure 8 inches. This is where my 8 inches is. So I'll do the same for the other side. Same thing, I'll do it for the front. This is the back side. I'll do it for the front. So I'll measure 8 inches here too. So here is my 8 inches here. Now, I'll take my pockets, the wrong side, the right side facing the right side, where my 8 inches is. That's where I'm going to fix the pockets here. You see, one. I'm going to sew this way from here. Yeah. I'll do the same thing for this part. So I'll do for the front also. Then I'll come back to show us the results. All right. I've done a fashion the pockets to all the sides, the front and the back, the four sides. So I will go ahead and join it as a shoulder, like this. I will join it at the shoulder here. This way, this to this place. Then after joining, I will go and weave the hand. So. Yeah. I'm going to join at the shoulder like this. From here to here. And this also. Then after weaving the hedge, I also hem my sleeve. Here's the sleeve. I'm going to fold. Remember, we added two inches for the sewing allowance. So I'm going to fold one, two like this. Then I'll come back to show the results. Okay. I've hemmed the sleeve. Here's the sleeve. I've been it then. This is the front, this is the back side for the both side, and I've also joined the shoulder together. Yes, I've joined the shoulder together here, and I'm going to cut out um the key hole for the button that is going to be at the back. This is my bias, depending on how wide your button is or how big your button is. So I'm going to, because I'm going to use a bigger button, then I'm going to use this measurement like this. Now, I'm going to show you how to make the key. I'm going to fold it. You know, it was, it's already folded like this. Then I'm going to sew. Fold it into two. Then I'll sew it. Okay. After sewing it together like that, then I will bend it this way, like this. See, I first bring it like this half, then bring the middle half here, like this. So I'm going to have this. Then this, I'm going to attach it to the side of the back here. This back here, I'm going to attach it here. Oh, maybe that's okay. I'm going to attach it here, so it's going to extend and cover the button like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, so on, on it like this. It 
should not be cutting off now i have it ready so if i fix my button then it's going to come this way over the bottom like the back this is the neck so the button is going to come here and it's going to look like this on the button now i'll go ahead and weave the side after weaving the side in i will attach the sleeve yeah this i'm going to attach the sleeve to it here is my sleeve the center of my sleeve is not sure i'll just gauge it to see and see okay zip up so i'm going to pick like this then i'll sew around i'll do the same thing for both sides all right guys we are almost done with her dress now i've weave i've joined the shoulder i've joined the sleeve and i've weave it and yeah it is so yeah now we are going to arrange the dress properly like this I'm going to arrange it like this and remember that we had it only two inches for the sewing allowance so what i'm going to do now is to sew from here 1.5 inches i'm going to be sewing 1.5 inches as a sewing allowance i will not be using two inches the reason i'm using 1.5 inches is because i want the remaining half inch to serve as the ease allowance so as i sew I may I'll mark 1.5 inch down 1.5 inch here 1.5 inch here so I've arranged the clothes I'll be marking 1.5 inch I'll be sewing the sewing allowance I had it so from the round sleeve I'll mark 1.5 inch you might decide to might not use this you can just go back to your measurement and have what you have there our round sleeve is 13 so half of 13 is 7.5 so you see that i'm all, i'm having 7.5 here too so i'm correct then i'll come to the boss side too this is the boss side i'll make sure that the two are laying very well then our bust is 36 half of 36 is 18 so what do I have here? I'm having 22. So 22 minus 18 is 4. So I will not use 18. I'm going to be using 19 because I have to make I have to add one inch is allowance to it. So I will still mark 1.5. See, so when I said I'll be marking 1.5. All true. Can you see that? I'm correct. So, is it that you use the normal measurement or you just use your sewing allowance? The sewing allowance you had it. Then I'll come to our waist. Our waist is 32, and half of 32 is 16. So what do I have here? I'm having 20. So I will still use the same 1.5 inch. 20. I hope you get 20, uh, 20 minus 16 will give us 4. Then I said I'm using one of his allowance. Then I will continue like that. So when I get to this part where the pocket is, I will arrange the pocket very well. You see, it's well arranged like this. Then I will sew. When I get here, the 1.5, I will knot it here. I will tight then i'll go this way round then i'll go around like this mm -hmm. then come out back then come to the hip because you're already at the hip region then see mark my 1.5 inch my sewing allowance 1.5 inch so from that 1.5 inch i come out again then i'll get here 
so you make sure that your cloth is well arranged because i'm using i'm managing this table that's why i have to be moving it so i'll continue my 1.5 then you remember that we do not have any slit for ease allowance we are going to have side slit so the side slit is going to stop where her gown her short gown length is her new length is and her new length is 38 so that's where i'll measure from her shoulder to 38 that's where i'm going to stop sewing and that's where the slit is going to start from so from my shoulder here this is a shoulder from my shoulder here i'll measure 38 to know where the slit is going to start from so here is 38 So the slit is starting from here. This is where the 38 is. So I will sew the 1.5 inch till I get here. Then I will notch. I will do the same thing for the other side. Then I will sew it, come back, and show us the next step. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm done sewing the one inch from up to the slit region. I have to neaten up this part then what is next for me to do now we are almost done this is just the last stage so i've sewn the pocket you can see the way the pocket is being sewn then i stop at the new length so that it will be easy for her to move now i'm going to open up this place like this and i'll fold in like this are you seeing i'll do the same thing for this side too and food can you see okay let me see it in such a way that it is very obvious i'll first aim the lower part okay the ironing of the st i've made this part to shrink sorry i made this part to shrink a bit so i'm trying to pull it down now I'm going to remember we added two inches for the Emmy allowance at the bottom. So I'm going to fold this like this. This is the first inch, and here is the second inch. So if you if you are very sure of your allowance, you don't need to take your proper measurement. But if you are not so sure, just go back and take your measurement again from the shoulder to the hem. But I'm very sure of my measurement, so I'm just folding my two inches. So in allowance then after folding the two inches so in allowance i will pick up this side this part like this i will fold again and fold again then i will sew it down to this part i'm going to sew it like this after sewing this then i'll fold like this and so so fold so till i get here when i get here i will top stitch here then I'll continue my folding. I'll fold this side too, and this side. Then I will sew it down to this end. I will do the same thing for the other side, and then we are done. So let me do that. Show us the result. Okay, guys, we have finally come to the end of the tutorial, and here is the lower part that I was trying to explain that we're going to hem. After hemming this lower part, then I folded this side here and here. Then I weave around so we can now turn it over. I've also fixed the button. Now we can turn it over and see the final look. So here is a pocket. Okay. So, so I will iron it out then. Place it on the mannequin for fitting so that you cannot see the finished work. Okay. So isn't this beautiful? If you be trying this, let me know in the comment section and please.
do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel that's what makes us grow like subscribe and share we love you from him seek to okay he call it a nice day yeah yeah i'm loving this so beautiful bye thanks for watching so we have finally come to the end of today's tutorial here's the dress looking so pretty on the manicure if you're going to try this let me know in the comment section if you have any question also send it to the comment section i'll be in the comment section to answer all our questions and please don't forget to like subscribe and share this because grow bye Good.